Alan Itchett here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. On the last episode, Goku returned to the other world, and he noticed that everything was out of whack. King Yama was trapped in some jelly bean looking contraption. Things were all in chaos, and we have found out that there is an evil entity down here in the other world known as Janemba. We have to come to hell and look for Vegeta so that we can take on Janemba. So we're going to do that now. Instant transmission can hit that switch. That will lower those spikes for us to walk through. This is actually the best place to grind in the whole game after the end game. If you so if you wanted to max your characters out. You don't have to max your characters out in this game, but for those people who feel the need to the hell is the best place to do so. I will show you an instance of grinding the best screen to do so. The talisman of light. But right now we're trying to find Vegeta. Here we have another vampire dude. I wonder what he was called. So far we've seen vampires and Vlad. What is this one called? Nosferatu. We have 16 stat points. Holy crap. I want those sunglasses. I wonder if I can get it before I walk off the screen. Okay, I got him. I want to give Goku the Ox King's hat. No, I don't. Because he's wearing the Goku hat. I was going to boost his attack with the Ox King's hat, but I forgot that I had the Goku hat on. And that is too good of an item to pass up. Here we have a Destroyer palette swap. What is it called? Annihilator. Go figure. Gold Zinni. More zombies. It's actually the zombies that give off a lot of experience. Here we have the screen that I grind on. I usually keep on the Kamehameha. And you just... What is he hitting? You use your energy attack here to Kamehameha all the enemies that aren't in fist reach like the ones across these barriers and then you go up come back down kill the ones that you can punch and then just Kamehameha the other ones and run back and forth over and over again. See, I've already leveled up so many times. But this is the best place in the end game to train. I'm going to pump all 24 of these stats <laughs> into strength. That is hilarious. Of how overly powered my strength is now. Get all that zenny. Let's continue looking for Vegeta. There's a treasure up here. I don't know what that is. The Spirit Gator. We can't kill these Draw Bones dudes. I don't think. There we have a save point. This is a save point where it its only function is to save. You cannot swap characters at that thing. We actually can't... What did I punch? I punched something over here and it... What the freak was that? We're not supposed to be able to destroy this rock. It's got this kachin on it. We can only destroy it from the other side. But right here we have an instant transmission puzzle. We've got to keep doing that over and over again. 
to be able to get through this area. It's not really hard at all. It's an instant transmission maze. Let's do that. Let's get that stat thing off the screen. Let's make our way through the area some more. Stop it, eyeballs. Stop it. So now we've made it back to the middle again. We need to hit the switch to adjust the spikes around and do it again. Oh, I accidentally hit two things. That's one good thing about the leveled up instant transmission. You could select multiple things in one path and hit it. Should you be fighting enemies, you could select multiple enemies to punch enemies. But instant transmission is not an attack I use for fighting. But you could if you wanted to. Why Goku couldn't just fly over all this stuff, I'll never know. But we're almost through this big gigantic maze. And I went the wrong way. I did something wrong here. This maze is confusing me. Hit the switch, Goku! Okay, now... We should be on the last leg of the... Maze. Don't touch the spikes, they will hurt you! So hug the wall. The barrier. Hug the barrier! Now on our way out, we can actually destroy this rock to get out. We couldn't do it. One of these spirits is actually Vegeta. It's not him. Kakarot, what do you want? I need your help. Oh really? You've got the nerve coming here. So what are you going to do? Sit here and stew in your juices for the rest of eternity? Ah, very well. I'm sick of this place anyway. Well, we do this on my terms. You got that, Kakarot? Vegeta is now available. And now we cut back to the actual story from the anime. Dray, where did you find that puppy, Boo? He no scared of Boo. He no run. Me try saying words to make him, but he no talk. It looks like the poor little guy's got a hurt leg. Maybe that's why he didn't run away. You leg broken? Me make it better so you can't run away. Why you no run away? He not scared so scared of Boo. He's thanking you for fixing his leg. You're his new best friend. He just wants you to play with him. Boo friends with you and Puppy now. Sure, we're all friends. Hey Boo, I've got to get something. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh -huh, now all I have to do is press a button on this remote and Boo's house will explode. Kaboom! But he looks different, gentle. Maybe I should give this guy a little time. Who knows? Maybe if people can change, he can too. Excuse me, Mr. Boo, can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Why do you fly around killing people and destroying our cities? Boo was told to. Bibbidi told Boo to kill people. Bobbidi told Boo to destroy things. You don't have to listen to them, you know. What Boo does is, if not destroying things. There's a lot of things you could do. You could go to the movies or play with your puppy or watch football. Anything as long as it doesn't involve destruction. Is to kill people a bad thing? Yes, a very bad thing. Then Boo kill no more. I did it. I got this guy to change his ways and I didn't even have to throw a punch or blow him up. Oh, Hercule, you truly are the greatest. Piccolo, come look at this. What is it, Dende? Down on Earth, it's Hercule. 
He seemed to have befriended Majin Buu. What? What's that showboat doing hanging out with Majin Buu? He's convinced Buu not to kill anymore. Maybe Buu will change if he's has a friend. Maybe we won't have to fight him at all. I don't like Hercule, but I want him. Don't want him to get hurt. He's in grave danger. But this does buy us some time. Do you think that was the right thing to do? Smitty, it's the end of the world. Armageddon. Majin Buu is flying around, destroying everything. The dead are rising from their graves. The governments of the world are falling apart at the seams. All the bets are off now, so I'm cashing my chips in. I'm going to do everything that I've ever had the urge to do. I guess that makes sense. You bet it makes sense. Why don't you try? See that over there in the distance? There's a puppy running in that field. I think you know what to do. And they just snipered that puppy. What happened to the puppy? Wait a second, look up on the hill. Bullseye, wasn't that great? Hey, isn't that Hercule? You monsters, how could you? It was just a puppy. Just a little puppy. Now you're going to pay. Poor guy, he didn't deserve this, Boo. Can you help him like before? Boo tried to help up. Yay, Boo did it! You did it! All that story. Now we'll probably want to be Vegeta to get some levels on the way to where we need to be. For some reason, Vegeta's bar is still yellow, despite him not being a Super Saiyan. That'd fix should I try to go Super Saiyan. No, I don't want to save. But I do want to punch the crap out of these enemies. I'm leveling up like nobody's business fighting these things. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan because I am really slow. See, the bar fixed itself. So now let's make our way back to the beginning of hell. Use the final flash to blow that rock up. Take out these zombies. And get tons of levels in the process. Hopefully I don't have to be a specific level. I know uh, there's a gate where I'm heading. But hopefully I'm already at that level. I'm probably not. But who knows. These stats are all out of whack. Here's the grinding spot. Go ahead and take those zombies out. Make our way through the area. Defeat the Annihilator. Make our way back to the beginning of this area. Leveling up like a madman. Take your symbols and shove them. Ghost dude. Nosferatu. Okay, get through here, run down here, run over here. Now we're going to be back on the screen with the ghosts. Another level. Hercule aid. I'll take it. More zombies. More levels. More sunglasses. Let's distribute these stats. Boost this up to 70. Then give all this to strength. 
As soon as we can get back to the beginning of the area, we go left. Okay, I'm at a level that I need to be. Pycon, what are you doing lying on the ground? Oh, my head. It's Janimba. He's horrible. You can't imagine how strong he is. Ah, pathetic. I bet I could beat this Janimba by myself. Don't be so sure. I've fought Pycon before, and he's quite a formidable fighter. If he says that Janimba is strong, you better not underestimate him. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and swap back to Goku now. There's actually a glitch in this area where Goku is fighting and then you end up swapping and there's still a dead Goku on the ground. It's weird. I forget how to set it up. Janimba! Janimba! What is that thing? Is that what you dragged me out here for? It's my turn first. I want to go Super Saiyan 3. I need to defeat these hands though. Let's watch him punch into the dimension. And here he made a bunch of mini Janimbas. Janimba creates these miniature versions of himself. So let's actually scan Janimba. The evil soul of an organized crime boss named Janimba has escaped and become this evil creature. It's not even giving me a chance to go Super Saiyan. I don't think I could fight that. I gotta fight Janimba himself. That's funny, there's still a little Janimba all over there. I'll take it from here, Kakarot. Can I actually hurt that little Janimba? Yeah, I can. See that Goku was laying on the ground? That You can actually still be Goku and hit that dead Goku would still be laying on the ground. I don't remember how to set that up, though. Janimba's transformed into a faster, more dangerous form. Super Janimba. So let's just take it to him. And I'm about to get killed, so this isn't good at all. Senzu Bean. Where are my Senzu Beans? I actually have Lazarus crystals that would restore me should I have been killed. Level up. This is ridiculous. Neither of us can beat him. No, I have a plan that will definitely destroy him. What are you thinking of, Kakarot? Fusion! Fusion? You mean where we two fuse into one? Yes, fuse with me, Vegeta. Me? Fuse with you? You idiot! That's your big plan? It's the only way we're going to beat him. There's no other way. I'd rather die than fuse with you. But Vegeta, you're already dead. You've got a point, Kakarot. Fine, I'll do it. Up, left, up, down, A. Up, left, up, down, A. I like how Vegeta knew it. I am no longer Goku or Vegeta. I have the in instrument of your destruction. Gogeta! Gogeta is the fusion of Goku and Vegeta using the Metamorese Art of Fusion. I like one of his moves. He's got the Big Bang Kamehameha and the Super Dragon Fist. And I just completely annihilated Janimba with the Super Dragon Fist. Goku has reached level 116. And Tank Boy has been transformed back to his normal self. Where am I? Who are you? Ah! Vegeta, we'll meet again sometime. Maybe. So, next time on 
Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. We progress the story. Until then.